It's been a while since Alpha got his buff, but I think I kind of forgot to make a video about it, so here we are. But I think after the new emblem system, he seems to be even deadlier than before. At first, I was trying to play him as a jungler, but since I haven't made a video about the EXP lane for quite some time, I decided to just go for it in this match. Not gonna lie, since our jungler clearing the mid lane instead of taking her jungle was a little bit concerning. Maybe it's a secret new OP meta strategy that I'm not aware of. If your hero is pretty strong in the early game, it's not a bad idea to steal the opponent's jungle monster. Honestly, it's been forever since I have seen Arlot, since he's almost forever banned. I even forgot his name and I had to look it up to remember it. Anyway. I kind of forgot how his mechanics work because of that. But if I'm not mistaken, he did get a small nerf in one of the recent updates, so maybe he's not as strong as before. They are all in the bot lane, this should be a free turtle. Bye, have a great time. Or not. That was a bit scary, but I might have to give up this turret. Vexana just missed her CC skill, now I have the chance to turn this around. By the way, in this match, I wasn't using the right emblem setup. I forgot about it when drafting. Kimi might steal it. I will try to stun her so she cannot do that. I really gotta aim my ult better, that was embarrassing. Even though my ult is on cooldown, maybe my presence alone can scare her off. This is when I realized how fed our marksman was and how much our marksman fed. This might get ugly when we have to team fight.
This caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting the whole gang to be here. But well, anyway, this means a free turtle. Well, we got an interesting game ahead of us. I know how fed Bruno is, so going 1v1 against him right now will not be a smart choice. But what I can do is to bait him a little bit and buy time for our reinforcement. Then, even like that, he managed to get killed. But that's okay, I got that juicy shutdown bonus, that's gonna help tremendously. Probably didn't need to waste vengeance there, but whatever. He just used his dash, maybe I can take him now. Wasn't expecting their mage to be there as well. They keep showing up out of nowhere. Loki, Alpha is really strong if he doesn't get caught in their CC skills. Bruno still had a lot more farms than I do. To play this safe, I'll wait for the right timing before committing. Yeah. He probably got super cocky after completely dominating our marksmen and getting super fed. They are all after my nuts, gotta make a tactical retreat. A few of them left to defend their base, I can take the fight now. This is gonna be the easiest maniac of my life. Even if we end up winning, I feel like I already lost. If only I had mana there, that probably would have been a wiped out. Yeah. 
She dares to chase me all the way. By the way, you can keep spamming your second skill to keep the brute force stack. Just beware of your mana, but if you are playing him as a jungler and get the blue buff, most likely you won't have that issue at all. Honestly, I could tell I was quite rusty using Alpha, I miss a few ults and skills, but from what I can see, he's a pretty solid fighter since the buff he received. I'll have to try him again but as the jungler next time, and hopefully I can redeem myself in that one. Victory! Anyway, that's all for this video, thanks for watching and I will see you all again, bye bye.